So giving your child a stuffed animal, a blanket, and a pillow. Those sound like pretty easy things, right? Like just give it to the kid, they'll sleep, they'll be fine. But I know you're watching this video because you want to be prepared and that's what I'm here to help you with. I'm Becca Campbell, let's talk about introducing comfort items to your child. Y'all know here at Little Z's, I am all about safe sleep. We wanna make sure we're following the AEP guidelines. We wanna make sure your child has the appropriate sleep environment and setup, but we also wanna make sure we keep sleep a thing. And the idea of giving your child a stuffed animal or a pillow or a blanket can feel a little bit like you're inviting a lot of distraction into your child's room. Well, I teach families about this all the time, and it's something that we uh, talk a lot about inside the Sleep Society, which is our monthly membership for parents all over the world to keep sleep a thing. So let's talk specifics on why you would even want to give your child a comfort item and when this can actually begin. So under age 12 months, zero to 12 months, nothing should be in your child's sleep space. I know you see the Pinterest videos and the Pinterest images of all the beautiful nurseries and all these like pillows and blankets in the crib, and it's cute, but it's not safe. So I hope that if you are creating a Pinterest worthy nursery, you're taking those items out of the crib when your child goes to sleep. I get it, it's beautiful, the aesthetic, love it. But here's the thing, zero to 12 month olds nothing in their sleep space except for the mattress, the firm crib mattress that's firm and flat, and a fitted sheet, that's all. After 12 months old, this is when we can introduce two items. We can introduce a stuffed animal and a blanket. So let's talk about introducing stuffed animals and blankets to a young toddler. The reason you may want to consider adding a stuffed animal and or a blanket to your child's crib is just for security and simply for a cue that it's time to sleep. There are a myriad of reasons that someone may want to do this and maybe you don't, maybe you have no intention of giving your young toddler a stuffed animal or a blanket to sleep with, that's fine. Okay, this is not a requirement. No one's gonna come after you at 12 months old and say, hey, where's your kid's stuffed animal? It's not gonna happen. But here's what you can look for. Giving your child a stuffed animal or giving them a light blanket is another way for them to use these items as self-soothers. So in the middle of the night, they can grab their stuffed animal, they can grab their blanket, they can roll over and go to sleep, much like you and I do with our own blankets throughout the night. Pillow is later. But the stuffed animal and the blanket are wonderful cues and great for self-soothing. They're also fantastic, like bonus tip here, Fantastic for travel. Whenever we take our girls anywhere, the first thing I pack are all their stuffed buddies and I put them in a bag and that's what we're bringing to grandma and grandpa's house, on the airplane, like whatever it is. Those are our safe items that will always travel with us so we can make sure that they have that comfortable sleep environment. So when it is time to introduce a stuffed animal and or a blanket, remember you can have one or two, but like max comfort items, two things in the crib. That's really all we need. I don't want you to go oversized, ginormous stuffed animals. Look around the kid's room. You probably got maybe a stuffed animal or a blanket at the baby shower, right? That's what happened to our girls. They got two little stuffed animals and that's what we ended up giving them when they turned one. So we had played with them during the day as they were growing and then it was 12 months old and I invited them into the crib. So here's how you can do this. I would rather you introduce a stuffed animal and or a blanket at bedtime. We wanna do everything possible to preserve the nap. Y'all know that nap can sometimes be the hardest thing. So I don't wanna invite more distraction in a nap where things could probably go a little bit wrong and then they don't nap and you're left with a cranky 12 month old. So instead at bedtime on the night that you wanna introduce these things, you go about your bedtime routine per usual don't forget, check out our video on a toddler bedtime routine. We have that ready for you. And on the night that you introduce that stuffed animal and you put your child into the crib, you can ask them to, hey, can you go get monkey Lammy? That's my oldest daughter's favorite stuffed animals that she sleeps with every night. Hey, can you go get monkey Lammy? They can sleep with you tonight. Or maybe you pick up your child and you plop them into the crib and then you hand them their monkey and say, hey, monkey can sleep with you tonight. You wanna cuddle monkey and kind of show them how to cuddle them. You probably won't have to demo much. They may get it. And one of two things may happen. They may be so excited like, yes, I get to sleep with the monkey tonight. 
Or they may like throw it out the crib and be like, I don't care about that thing. And that's fine. You have offered it and it's up to them if they want to take it or not. It's not the end of the world. If your child decides that they don't want a stuffed animal, it's okay. All right. There's, there's not going to be any impact for their sleep. But if they do latch onto that stuffed animal and they are snuggling it and hugging it, then here's what's going to happen. More than likely on the first night, you'll say goodnight, you'll walk out the room. They are not going to fall asleep in their normal, like maybe five to 10 minutes. It may take a while because they have a toy, right? They have this new stuffed animal. So they may play with it. They may be talking to it. They may be like messing around and that's completely okay. All right. So things are not going to go normal on the maybe first couple of nights that you introduce a stuffed animal. The same thing is going to happen with a blanket. Now, I have never really met a maybe like 12 to 18 month old who will keep a blanket on them like nice and neat. So to me, the blanket is kind of like, you may wait a little bit on that, but if you are really dead set on maybe, you know, giving them a blanket that, you know, great grandma made for them, you're absolutely welcome. It's not a problem at all. Now we're definitely avoiding weighted blankets. We're avoiding big, heavy comforters. I'm talking like you could offer them a swaddle blanket to sleep with. I, I loved those for our girls. They slept with those when they were 12 months old. You could offer maybe like a small crocheted blanket. There's, there's really nothing that the AAP says like, you know, is the perfect optimal blanket, but we don't want huge bulky items that would be hard to manipulate because they really are not going to be able to lay it on top of them. So stuffed animals and blankets, these can begin at 12 months of age, but keep them small so that they're not giant and taking up a lot of space and they're not too um, clunky or too much to deal with in the middle of the night when they do wake up. Here's my bonus tip when it comes to introducing a stuffed animal and a blanket. They probably will wake up throughout the nighttime. That's normal. Nobody actually sleeps solid through the night. Everybody cycles in and out of sleep. But when you introduce a stuffed animal and or a blanket, what may happen is they'll wake up and remember it's somewhere. They may call out to you. They may need some help and that's fine. Go help your child maybe find their stuffed animal and get adjusted. This adjusting to a stuffed animal and blanket may take about a week or so and then we're fine. But I just just wanted to give you that bonus tip in case you experience some wakings. Okay, how about a pillow? When can you introduce a pillow to your child? This does not happen until two years of age. There's many reasons for this. Um, one of the biggest things that I hear from our families inside the Sleep Society is they are anxious to give their child a pillow because it looks uncomfortable to sleep without one. When in all reality, children are much smaller than we are. Their necks are a lot smaller. They're not really craving a pillow because they've never had one. They don't really know what that is. But there are a few signs that if you see at two years old, you may think like, okay, let's go ahead and offer a pillow. One sign could be your child is using their blanket or stuffed animal to support their head. And if you see that, then this is a great opportunity to add a pillow into their crib. Another cue could be you're ready to offer and see what they think of it. At two years old, you can offer your child a toddler sized pillow. Now, this is something that I have collaborated with Holly Choi of Safe Beginnings on. I was asking her like recommendations on pillow sizes and safety with this. And I loved her straightforward answer. If you think about, I kind of already said it, a child's neck is a lot smaller than ours. And so they don't need that huge adult sized pillow. You can go with a travel size pillow or a toddler size pillow. I will link the ones that I share with families below in the notes here but giving them a smaller pillow size, that's all they need, okay? Now with this, we wanna talk about when to offer the pillow and what to happen if this becomes a total distraction. The toddler pillow can be introduced at bedtime. I like to preserve that nap time as much as possible. So we all know like around two years old, naps are kind of hit or miss sometimes. There's a, there's a very typical nap regression between 22 and 24 months old. I cover this extensively inside of our Sleep Society, which is our monthly membership to help families keep on top of their sleep. So check that out if you'd like more information on that. We have a $1 for one week. You can click the link below and we'd love to get you in so you can learn more about that toddler nap regression. But I love to introduce the pillow at bedtime so we can preserve nap and introduce it at bedtime. What I would suggest after you're done with your toddler's bedtime routine, get them into the crib, then show them the pillow. 
If they have never seen this concept before, which most of the time by two years old, they're pretty aware that mommy and daddy have a pillow, um, maybe brother or sister has a pillow. You can invite them to lay their head on it. You may need to pat the pillow and say, hey, lay your head right here and show them how to use it. Now, what happens if you leave the room and it just becomes like they're tossing the pillow and playing with the pillow? Normal, okay? Totally normal. It's fine if the child wants to play with this. It's fine if the child wants to throw it to the side and sleep like normal. Just keep being consistent with it unless it becomes something the child adamantly says no, then you can take it out the crib. But just be consistent with it. It will probably take about a week of getting acclimated to this new foreign object in their crib. And my bonus tip, this is so normal, but your child will probably wake up in the nighttime or you may go in to say goodnight when you go to bed. I love doing that. I love sneaking into our girl's room and saying goodnight, like they're totally asleep. And sometimes I go in there and they are five and six years old and their heads are nowhere on that pillow. And I'll adjust them if I want to. But do not expect that your toddler will now have a pillow and lay there like all peaceful and quiet and sleep all night long directly on their pillow. It's not gonna happen, it's okay. It's gonna take some time for them to get used to this and I have no expectation that just because you gave them a pillow, they will stay with their head on said pillow all night long. Probably not gonna happen. I hope this video was helpful on how to introduce comfort items, stuffed animals, blankets, and pillows to your toddler. Maybe you're approaching that 12 month mark, happy early birthday to your little one. Maybe you're approaching the 24 month, happy early birthday to your little one. I am so thankful that you have been here with us week after week as we continue to help you make getting sleep help easy. And if you are interested in keeping sleep a thing, like what are all the changes? What's this nap regression you're talking about? I wanna invite you to come try out our Sleep Society membership. This is our place for you to keep on top of your child's sleep. We have an amazing community of parents all over the world who are also interested in making sure that their family continues to be happy, healthy, and well-rested. Come try us out, click the link below for $1 for one week, and we cannot wait to see you there. Sweet dreams, see you next time.